research on self-presentation has moved from examining interpersonal interactions to displays through mass media to more recent forms of new media in which elements of interpersonal and mass communications are merged, like personal homepages and blogs. New media, such as the World Wide Web, allow people the opportunity to present various forms of themselves to others at a distance. People are able to post only that information which presents a desired image. While people are purportedly presenting themselves, they are presenting a highly selective version of themselves. Social network sites connect networks of individuals that may or may not share a place-based connection. Over time, membership in more than one of these social networking systems creates an interesting and complex network of locations where people may share portions of themselves with others. And in turn, other people may present portions of themselves for you. As these exchanges take place, each person involved re-evaluates themselves in light of information they've received about other people. This means a person's self-view is not only what they think of themselves, but how they perceive other people to think of them. Even after a person has logged off, their self, the way they view themselves, is still an amalgam of the way they see themselves through other people in online communities. Hence, it is very easy to argue that today you are not just a self, but in fact, you are a networked self.